Welcome to Church of the Resurrection. Hey, let me take this off just for this video, because when we're in the building, we're wearing masks. Hey, this is Ron Greiser, and we're at Church of the Resurrection, and we're getting ready to regather. Why don't you come on in and let me show you a couple things that have changed since the last time you were here. We're going to be offering two different services for us, one at 9 and one at 11. They're going to be identical, exactly what we've been doing on uh, the videos each and every week. We're going to continue to maintain that live stream as well. We do want you to know that we're following diocesan guidelines. We're following CDC guidelines. DHEC, we're utilizing Horry County's school board reopening plan as well. We want to give you a couple things that you will be different when you come in. We're asking you to register because as you can see, there's only 28 places in this room and in the worship space, the sanctuary, there's only 68. So go to resurrectionsurfside.org and you can register there. Upon coming onto the campus, you're going to see some folks with yellow lanyards. They're the welcome team. They're going to greet you. They're going to check you in so that we know where you're going to be seated and you know where you're going to be seated. We will maintain a wait list for those who were unable to register and we'll fill you in as quickly as we can. Many people sit in their cars and listen to the service on our radio station, which is 98.1, or they stream in their cars, or some just pull up chairs and sit out here in the shade wherever they can find it. Our role at this point is to make sure that we provide personal and communal safety to everyone that we can. So we are gonna be excited to see each other. I can't wait to see you. We're gonna hug each other. You're gonna shake each other's hands. But dear friends, this is a no touch zone. So if you're, if you're feeling symptomatic, if you have a cough or a fever, we ask you to stay at home and use that service that we have with live stream. We desire to care for the least of these, as Jesus would say. So upon entering, we want everybody to wash your hands. And if you need a mask, we have some right there for you because everyone that comes in the building is going to be wearing a mask the whole time that we're here. So come on into the sanctuary as we take a look at some things that are going on there that are going to be very different. Let's stop in the narthex for a moment. You note that here is a offering basket where you can place your offering. We'll also notice that there are no bulletins because we have an app that has been developed just for these kinds of things that you can follow the entire service in. We also want you to know that in that app, parents, are going to be a, a number of different activities that you'll be able to print off at home, bring crayons for the children that are going to be worshiping with you in the sanctuary. Also, more masks and another cleaning station. Come on in. On that app, you're also going to see that we have a new connection card. And that new connection card is simply to text 474747 and type in Hello Core. And a connection card is going to be sent to you so you can get signed up for a number of different ministries to get involved in. You might notice that every other pew as you enter into this space is closed off. And tape marks where you can't sit and the open places are where you can sit. We ask you to slide over so that people don't have to step over you. Please don't block the pew. If you notice, we don't have prayer books in here. We don't have Bibles in here anymore. There are no pens, there are no cushions. This is so we can sanitize quickly in between each service. So, BYOB. Bring your own Bible so that you can take notes in the side so they'll be everlasting so you'll be able to go back and look at them a little bit later. Miss Heather is going to continue, as she has all summer, to provide those great children's sermons. And we want you to know that we're going to have uh, a family time, family discipleship time, in between the two services. And that's going to be from...
15 to about 1045 and we'll have more information for you on our website on how that's going to go we want you parents to be able to disciple your children in the way that they shall go so that when they get old they shall not depart from it we're going to have communion we know that that's a part of our tradition and a part of our life so upon leaving you will receive a baggie that has a host in it you only really need to receive communion in one kind it is perfectly adequate we ask you that if you're on that side of the church you're going to go out that door if you're on this side of this church you're going to go out the front door that you came and if you're in the commons you're going to go out the side door and there will be a priest there to hand you communion we do ask you to keep moving it's because there's other people behind you you can chat with folks a little bit later there will be no coffee uh, there will be no great snacks we will maintain that no touch zone uh, and as you go into the world rejoicing in the power of the spirit take that power out to a broken and hurting world many of you have gone through a lot in being isolated during this time and away from corporate worship but this is not the first time this occurred in the Old Testament, the Jews were it sent off to Babylon in Babylonian captivity, and they were for there for 70 years, and they didn't have worship. As the temple was reestablished and reopened, the people were able to worship again. And they came in rejoicing. They came in the power of God, hearing the word of God made alive. Dear friends in Christ, this is another momentous occasion where we re-enter and we worship with one another, taking that great rejoicing, that power of the Spirit, back out into the world. God bless you. We look so forward to seeing you soon.